All right, we're back today with the plastic into fuel reactor. Those of you that remember last episode, we did not make oil because I reckon I did not put enough plastic in the machine. I also went to discover that the blades inside of the machine were actually damaged. So all the plastic I did put in the machine was all stuck at the back and was not moving forward. So I repaired the blades. Now we're going to load the plastic in. I've been shredding for some time now. Um, last run, we only did one bucket full of plastic to go into the machine. This time we're going to do three bucketfuls of plastic. Now, I know I should measure and weigh. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure the machine is tuned and optimized because we haven't run it in literally five months. But after this run, when we confirm we get oil, we confirm we get natural gas, everything is working properly, then we can start to get more scientific due to the weighing, do specific types of plastic. But right now, I'm just trying to make sure everything works properly first. So let's go ahead and suck up some plastic here and get it into the machine, the first bucket full. So I just want to remind everybody, if you like what I do and you want to support this mission, go to naturejab.com slash donate or naturejab.shop, pick up some merch, or you could donate directly to this project. There's every form of donation acceptable there. You're going to continue to get this research going, continue to contribute to history and to doing something for the earth. I appreciate all you guys and enjoy the rest of this video. So I'm dumb. I just wanted to go tap the glass to try to see if I could get it to move down, and I did that, and I freaking broke the glass. God damn it. Fortunately, the machine is still sealed because the valve is under the glass, but I gotta take this glass off and move this down because the vacuum isn't sealed and it won't be able to suck anymore. But now we can't even see as stuff falls. This is the only glass I have that's four inches like this. So I gotta order a new one. I should have hit this. That would have been fine just like that. Look, it's just a falling. God, sometimes I'm stupid. Now we won't even be able to watch the stuff fall through. So here's the new vacuum for the thing. I can't see shit. I also got the blade spinning in reverse while I vacuum. So today I completely filled this bucket to the top. Last time we did the last run, it wasn't filled to the top. It was about probably like three quarters or halfway there. Because that was a lot of plastic to suck in. Like, a lot. And I was just thinking to myself, if I suck in that much plastic and I'm not getting any oil, then there's something else wrong. So I'm going to do one more bucket of plastic because I don't want to make the variables too extreme to where if there is something wrong, there's just so much plastic in there that, you know what I'm saying, that it's going to just solve whatever the root issue is. So we'll do one more bucket full of shredded plastic. <laughs> All right, second bucket full of plastic. Let's do it. This thing really sparks good, and this is a pretty weak shot back. I actually want to get a stronger one soon with a bigger hose diameter. You gotta suck something black. No pause. Let's go. Ah, it's too dark. Unfortunately, I don't know if you guys can see the plastic in there. But there's a ton of plastic. There you go. All right, the vacuum is being pulled. Right now we are at, if you even see that, the sun is shining in the screen. Negative, almost negative seven PSI, which converts to 13 inches of mercury. We usually pull half a vacuum, 14 inches of mercury. That will get most of the oxygen out. And on top of that, once the reaction is going, it can only be sustained at about 12 to 10 inches of mercury anyway. So there's really not much of an advantage to pulling a deeper vacuum until I get a stronger recovery pump. But vacuum is being pulled. Here's to getting some oil. I got about nine minutes in. 
full power, we're getting vapor formation. We are 13 minutes in, just about 14. I'm seeing the first drops of moisture coming over. Can't tell if it's oil or water, but it is condensate, which is great to see. So hopefully before like the 30 minute mark, we can start to really see some good yields. 17 minutes in, you can see that we are at, mm, I'd say, what is that? We're at 10 inches of mercury, 10.5 inches of mercury. Um, these are some of the temperatures here. literally fuck with everything. The computer has crashed and it's blue screen of death thing right now. In the middle of a run. And I can't turn these freaking other magnetrons on. There's three that are still on. I always can turn them off with the manual switch if I need to turn them off so that's not an emergency. But it just sucks because it's like, dude, I gotta like put all this stuff behind an aluminum foil barrier or something. It's crashing over and over again. It's so annoying. And we're making oil. I don't know how many minutes we are. I think we're about 40 minutes in. You see, we're getting some consistent oil starting to come over. Some consistent drips. With only three magnetrons on, which means if we had all six on, we'd be doing way better. But another thing to note is the damn carbon monoxide sensor in my generator kept shutting the whole thing off. So I ended up putting the thing, the carbon monoxide sensor in a bag and wrapping tape around it. It's so annoying. Like everything today, the computer crashing, the generator, there's so much you're not seeing that's just pissing me off so much. I'm just glad we're finally getting some oil, at least it appears to be, right? So I went ahead and just saw what oil we did get from the run, and you're going to see that it may look like it was okay, but it was not. We got oil! So I went ahead and poured it out, and unfortunately it looks like this is mostly water. Now there was some oil in there, but if the only thing condensing out on the other side is water, what the heck does that mean? I mean, water from plastic, super contaminated, dirty cancer water from plastic is cool, but we want oil. A lot of it. A lot more than this. So, I need some troubleshooting. I need some help. What does this mean? What am I doing wrong? I used to be able to make tons of oil easy. It's obviously something with my condensing system. It actually might be too long. It might be too long. I don't know. I think it's clogged somewhere. So I went ahead and took a look at my condensers and they were indeed clogged, but not clogged to a degree where vapors couldn't travel through. We had no problems with the vapors or the pressure being too low in the vacuum. Uh, but the issue is you look at the vapors and they're like waxy, you know, so we are getting hydrocarbon oils clearly, but these are not hydrocarbon oils that are able to flow down into the sight glass. They're actually perhaps getting too cold and then gumming up and waxing up in there so I think we need less condensers we gotta make the condensers shorter so here's the changed pipe system these are my two best condensers these are the ones of the highest quality that have the biggest holes so hopefully these will prevent leakage you can see how little they are though so the idea is they probably will not condense all the, the liquids but the liquids enough to travel up these, which are the s really small ones that get clogged, but still allow vapors to go through. And so these would go up and then come back down for just vapors to leave. So hopefully any liquids that do make it past here will just fall down from here and go back to here. So we got a vacuum pull. We're going to go ahead and get started and see if this will work. Thank you all for watching. Remember, if you want to support, please donate or get you some merch. Support Mother Earth and look good doing it. You guys stay blessed and thank you very much for watching.